Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today again I have come up with another very amazing problem. By the way, it's uh, an original problem. So here is the statement of this problem. There is a cuboid with side, uh, sides given as L2, L3, L and there is an insect and lizard sitting at opposite corner of the cuboid. Uh, you can see in the diagram here, there is one uh, at this corner and there is another one at this corner and it is given the maximum speed of insect is v0 and for the lizard it is 3v0 the insect cannot fly and it crawls on the walls of the cuboid so uh, the question is what will be the minimum time after which insect and lizard will meet each other and they will fight let's see who will win because uh, the size of insect you can see it's as uh, good as uh, the lizard one all right so let's discuss the concept part here. Concept is uh, the minimum distance between the two particles in a plane uh, would be the line joining uh, the two points. If two particles are moving with maximum speed along this path, then their time of meeting uh, will be minimum. So if we are, uh, let's say we are talking about uh, two points in a plane, these two points, so then this distance is going to be the minimum distance, directly the straight line joining the two points that is going to be the minimum distance compared to any other path here. So if particles are moving with their maximum velocities along this path, along the line joining these two points in a plane, then that time will be minimum. But here we have in the problem, we have a 3D structure and it, it becomes a very tough problem if you try to analyze it in 3D. So what we are going to do here is we'll open this cube and we will bring all sides in one plane and then we will select because as per this diagram here i have given the numbers one two three four and five six seven eight so lizard is placed at two and the insect is placed at uh, corner eight all right when we open this cuboid uh, you will see it will look something like this you can see here i am taking this as base one two three four so this is one two three four uh, 3L is this distance and L is this distance. When I place uh, 2, 3, 7, 6 and open it like this, it is going to open in this manner and this length is going to be 2L. Now you can see this height is 2L, this side is 3L and this side is L. All right. Then I'll be opening these two sides. 2, 6, 5, 1. You can see here, this will come here. 2, 6, 5, 1. I'm opening it towards this side. Similarly, I'm going to open this 37843 other side and this is going to be like this 4378. All right. Similarly, I'm going to open 1485 in this direction. So this is going to be 1485. It will be placed like this and this top surface because I'm opening it in this manner so it will come at 5 8 here 5 8 7 6 this is going to be the last one and you can see here total uh, six faces we have uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now if you see carefully point 2 where this lizard was placed is this point here lizard is placed at this point and when we try to close this this point 8 where this uh, insect was placed it will be here so in the plane, there are two paths directly from uh, 2 to 8 and uh, uh, 2 to 8 here. One is path 1 and one is path 2. I'm calling this as path 1 and this path is path 2. So I will be taking like in these two paths when uh, this insect and uh, uh, lizard is moving, then only this time is going to be minimum. So I'm going to calculate these lengths. All right, I'm going to calculate these lengths. And whichever is minimum, I will choose that path. So when I'm going to calculate this uh, P1, you can see L plus L, this is 3L, this side is 3L. So this is 3 root 2L, which I have written here. This is going to be 3 root 2L. Similarly here, you can see this is 3L and 2L. This is root, uh, this is 5L and this is L. So 5L whole square plus L square. If I use Pythagoras theorem here, I'm going to get this path length as root 26L. And clearly you can see this uh, P2 is going to be greater than P1 or you can say P1 is less than P2. So insect and 
lizard are going to move towards each other along this line and one is moving with v naught another one is moving with 3 v naught so their relative velocity is going to be uh, 3 v naught and this length is going to be uh, 3 root 2 l so here time uh, minimum time is going to be path length 1 whichever is smaller i am going to choose that path divided by v relative so if you simplify this and you'll be getting a very clean answer root 2 l by v naught this is going to be the final answer for this problem Another modification which we can do in this uh, problem is uh, one of them is moving uh, with the acceleration of a1 another one is moving with acceleration of a2 these kind of questions can be done so here I'll be writing 3 root 2 L is equal to half a relative t square and then I can calculate that minimum time or there one is moving with v naught another one is moving with a naught then v relative is v naught and a relative is a naught now i can apply this uh, s is equal to v naught t plus uh, half a t square and other possible variations can be that they are moving with a <coughs> variable acceleration this kind of questions also can be given so they are going to move along this path and uh, all the logics all the questions which we have done with the you know straight line motion can be used here for minimum time so these are the different possible uh, modifications in this problem so i hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed this please uh, leave a like share it with others and uh, i'll be coming up very soon with uh, another problem and i have been busy in last few days and due to my work so i'll try ki i can bring as many videos but uh, in december will be regular in posting uh, there is, will be a little more work this month. So I hope you won't mind that. Okay. Thanks for watching this video.